We need to change trains at Varejar to get to La Graham, right? I suppose it'd be better for us to take the Karazu main line than the transcontinental line then. Right, after reaching Brayahard, we'll need to transfer to a local line, the Ebel Branch Line. There's only one train over two hours, so I'm hoping we can arrive... We can time arrival to avoid length of wait. Yeah. Let's get to it! Welcome back, one and all, to Trails of Cold Steel. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time, we had our practical exam with Milliam and Crow, and we fought and kicked everyone's asses. This time, we've been given our field study assignments, and we're on our way to the Graham. Right! Laura's hometown. Yes, sir! And Milliam gave Green quite the rude awakening, and it was adorable. I'll handle this. Presumably use this a rude awakening too. I've got this! Let's do it! I've done all the work off camera I need. Healing items giving Milliam appropriate armor. Oh, you're all heading out? What? Crow? Wait, that's not Crow. Isn't that... Huh? What are you doing here, Lecter? It sounded like Crow. You miss me already? Sure did. I'm gonna be back in Crossbell starting the day after tomorrow. Might never have the chance to see you again in this lifetime, so I figured I'd drop by and say hello. Shh, whatever. You're so silly. There's no way you or Gramps would die that easily. Well, that old goat might scare off the Reaper, but I'm pretty weak, you know. Who's he? Captain Lecter Arundel of the Imperial Intelligence Division. We saw him while we were on our field study in Nord. He's the one supposedly responsible for negotiating with the Republic's army to prevent war from breaking out. But... <laughs> so he's the iron blood they call Scarecrow. Oh, this is Scarecrow. I figured it'd be, you know, Crow. I have to admit, he doesn't look like someone who uh, specializes in espionage. The cat! The cat is coming with us, apparently. Well, I'm sure this little drop of sunshine's got suspicious written all over her, but I hope you're getting along. Yeah. Don't hesitate to give her a good spanking if she causes too much trouble, though. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, we'll try our best to be a welcoming class. I'm not gonna cause them any trouble. Unlike you, I'm a little angel. Yeah, so is Lucifer. What kind of little angel would casually whip out something like Eric Getlam in public? Do you have any idea how much overtime we put in just covering up for you? Huh? You do? <laughs> Passenger service bound for Heindahl. Now arriving on Platform 2. We ask that all passengers wishing to board please wait on the platform until the train has come to a complete stop. If you'll excuse us, Captain. I'm afraid we need to catch this train. Oh, sure thing. Uh, good luck out there, guys. Oh, and by the way, I'd prefer it if you referred to me as secretary rather than captain in public. 
After all, I am a second secretary for the Imperial government. I see. Well then, if you'll excuse us, Mr. Secretary. You better bring me back a souvenir from Crossbell! with this guy. <laughs> they seem like an even more interesting bunch than I'd heard. Hope she gets the chance to soak in the good times at school like I did. Well, well. For two Ironbloods, you two have a pretty cozy thing going. Sarah. Uh-oh. Looks like a scary lady's got me in her sights. Time to make my exit. Not so fast. Didn't you have something you were supposed to give me? Come on, cough it up. <laughs> they don't call you the Purple Lightning for nothing. Maybe you should consider giving up this teaching gig and coming to work for us. I'll bet we could offer double what the Academy's paying you. No sweat. Ah, strictly business, huh? Obviously. I'm not getting any younger here. Hand it over. This is the list of every member of the Imperial Liberation Front that we're aware of at present. We've made progress in identifying their top figures, too. I see. I suppose I should thank you. Oh, uh, one more thing. Claire had a message she wanted me to pass along. I'm listening. Their primary target is Crossbell City. But there's a chance that something else will be going down within the Empire at the same time. Those were her words. Interesting. grass out there. Hey, Eustace, why is all the wheat, why is the wheat all green? Wheat, barley, and rye are all cultivated in the Krenzu province. They just grown in its season, which means that what you're seeing right now is the fall wheat crop. Oh, look, there's a weird scarecrow. <laughs> looks like its head. Look at its head. It looks all messy like lectures. Well, as long as she's enjoying herself, times like these, she seems just like any girl her age. It's hard to believe she's only 13. That's a year younger than my brother. Really just put things in perspective, doesn't it? I suppose it's, this is a good time as any to tell you more about where we'll be conducting our next field study. The ground is a small town on the southeast of the Empire, situated on the shore of Lake Ebel. My father, Vice Count Erced, governs the town, which itself is part of the Cruzen province. That sounds familiar. If I'm not mistaken, isn't that the province of Eusis' father's? Eusis' father overseas? Well, technically it is. But Legram is known for being particularly self-reliant. 
I doubt the Vice Count has much interest in the authority of its liege, liege, that lord. I suppose I can't deny that. My father can be a little too free-spirited at times. But I can't help but feel your father's governess has its own issues. Especially where taxation is concerned. Thank you, Laura! <laughs> it's not as though I'm unaware of that. Um, sorry, I seem to have touched a sensitive issue there. No, it's nothing you need to apologize for. Exchanges like these are the daily bread of the nobility. It's true that the four great houses do have immense power, but it's still up to the individual feudal lords to govern their respective regions. As far as taxation goes, each region has its own statures, which makes the whole situation even more complicated. It is quite convoluted. Taxation is theft! Although the imperial government does seem to be attending to unify all regions under a single tax system. Hopefully it's, an, it's a fair tax system. Hmm. That's one of the major points of dispute between the two factions. Incidentally, my father's stance on the matter is, Hell will freeze over before I consent to it. I do understand the reformist point of view. Each region of the Empire has its own traditions and customs. Attempting to normalize all of those under a single system seems a little insensitive. The more you tell me, the more complicated it sounds. Well, it's certainly not an issue with a nice, clear-cut solution. This is boring! Don't you have any more cool stories about Le Graham? <laughs> I suppose a couple students battling about Ideas of taxation isn't going to solve anything, but I guess to me, one of the things Lebram is most famous for is its air seat school. Isn't that the one Laura's dad teaches? That's the one. School of Swordsmanship. It's a style passed down by the ancient Knights of Erebonia. It's one of the two most famous martial styles of the Empire, the other one being the Vander School. Yeah. I see. Okay, can we just please get on away from the politics? I was hoping it would be possible for you to show me your respective styles to the Air Seed School students. Oh, okay. One of the school count. Yeah court venting and spearmanship alike. Okay. That sounds interesting. Some use two-handed swords like myself, others use spears and even bows. Perhaps even Emma's oral staff may be of interest, you think? What about me? Lammy's really strong too. True, but it's just raw strength. There's no skill or technique involved. I concur. Watching Lammy wouldn't afford the students any chance to learn new techniques of their own. Boo! You meanies, don't ever leave me out. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Lavender. Surely it's just a coincidence. It can't be. It has to be. What's wrong, Emma? Are you getting motion sickness or something? No, I'm fine. I was wondering if I might be able to see the castle while we're in Le Grand. Yeah. Mm. Weather permitting, it can be seen quite clearly, clearly. It does. Yeah, that would be. Okay, what about you, Yusus? We still have some time before we reach Orayahard, but we're changing trains as soon as we arrive, so make sure you're ready. Yeah.
why do you care? Your father isn't exactly the nicest guy around. Okay, Gaius. Yes, cultural heritage. So tax implications. Taxation is that, like I already said. Keep taxes low. I'm libertarian after all. Keep taxation low and keep spending to a minimum. Only the necessities. No stupid asinine bullshit that's not going to solve anything. That I don't want to go into because this is not the topic for me to talk about. Yeah. Uh, when I was younger and going to summer camp with the Boy Scouts, I had a hard time sleeping the night before, especially when we were going to New Mexico. Then let us Laura. begin our duel. This is mostly luck, I'm noticing, though you can play skill. Please draw a card. Hm. Then I'll make the first move. Divine Bolt! You bitch! Back from the dead. Mirror! Yeah, not cool. Let's force a redraw. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. The first move is yours. Well played. I didn't expect that. Mirror. We're evenly matched. Let's redraw. Hm. Then I'll make the first move. An excellent duel. Yeah, that actually went pretty well. And that gets a little bit more... Please go experience. easy on me. Not a chance. Shall we draw then? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. Ah, oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. Ah, oh, we have the same score. Let's draw again. <laughs> Allow me to play first then. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Go right ahead. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Yeah, you've already said that. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. Oh no, this could be trouble. We have the same score. Let's draw again. Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. It looks as though I win this time. Doesn't matter if you win or lose, that's just link experience. Alright, Eustace, let's play if again. If we have to. No one's forcing you. Draw a card. I'll be going first. Take this. That's a good opening. How about this? Well, how about this? What an impertinent little... How about this? <laughs> Just switch it around. At least it wasn't a complete waste of time. Oh, and all he had left were revives. Okay, Gaius, your turn. Shall we begin?
Go ahead and draw. I'll go first then. <laughs> why would I do the that? On my side. Why, why would I do that? I'm an idiot. It's time to duel! Boy, I wonder what that's referencing. Come on, draw a card! You're up first, I guess. Come on, draw another one. You're up first, I guess. something else. Okay, how long am I going? 21 minutes, but it's just one train ride is boring of an episode, so let's just keep it going for now. Getting a little late. I should probably go to, I should probably get some sleep. You know, it's good for your mental health, good for your physical health, and yet here I am playing a JRPG. Ministry of Railway wishes to thank all passengers, blah, 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 beret a hard. Well, that's nice of you. I'm getting tired. <laughs> really should get some sleep. I won't be able to record on Friday. I got overtime at the weekend. I gotta work. Oh, right away. Oh, there's the cat. Selene's coming with us. What is this cat? Wow, this forest is really dense. So are some of my co-workers. It almost looks like a scene from a picture book. As though if you kept very quiet, fairies might come out to play. Yeah, a lot of legends. Lance Maiden. Lane Sandlock was born in Lagram. But because of her Preternatural what? Preternatural What the fuck is that word? In beauty, some believe there are challenging challenging switched at birth by some fairy, by the fairies. Fascinating. 
the reality is a bit less rosy. The family line of Count Sandlot had to come to an end when she died under mysterious circumstances. After the War of Lions, it's hardly surprising that such tales have persisted. Look at that fog. It came on so suddenly. Yeah. Bring on the fog, yeah? Oh, Lammy, you can't smash that. in what's basically Scotland. Le Grand, the lakeside town. It's stunning. First time I visited Le Grand, but it's every bit as beautiful as I'd be led to believe. So this is the town of mist in ancient legends. I'm pleased you seem to have taken a liking to it. Unfortunately, the mist does hinder the visibility. On a clear day, the surface of the lake gleams like a polished mirror. Fog or no, it's breathtaking all the same. Welcome home, my lady. What? A maid? How long have you been there? I couldn't sense him coming at all. I've returned, Klaus. Oh, it's Butler. Looks like a woman from behind. Steward is a servant that basically serves as a right hand to the lord or lady of a of a land. They are essentially a retainer. Not only do they serve them in menial in labor, but serve them in combat as well. They are a bodyguard and a servant. Klaus. Does he sound like a German fish? I'd be very disappointed if he doesn't. I'd be very disappointed if he didn't. <laughs> Still, it doesn't look like the years have really changed too much. It's like walking into a bygone era. What's that? That's a statue of the Lance Maiden. Interesting. I'd be saying this stuff, but I'm tired and a little dehydrated. Cotton mouth right now. Lady Laura? The maids. Bracer guy. And there's Celine.
What's with the cat? I don't understand that. Yeah. I would expect a butler to be skilled with the blade, after all. If he is the steward of the Lord, he would have to be trained in combat to protect him. That was kind of the point of a castle. Please have control of the game. Oh my lord! So this is where we're staying. mentioning something about that. Finally! I'm gonna end this one here. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Trails of Cold Steel as I... busy work in LeGram and <sighs> do the busy work in LeGram. That's about all there is to it. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph, signing off. I seriously need to get some sleep.